Russia, what's up? This is Eddie here, and welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. Well, I hope you guys are doing good, and thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. This is really amazing to you know sit down and discover and explore artists from different countries. I have been making reaction videos for different countries altogether, and I'm also making reaction videos for Russia as well. So, with this note, guys, today we are here to check out a song called. Cuckoo. This is an, another legendary song of the legendary artist Kino. Uh, Cuckoo is basically the English term. In in Russia, it is it's called as Kukushka. Wow, Kukushka. Nice. So we also use the word Kukush, uh, Cuckoo sometimes in short in my mother tongue, and my mother tongue is not English or Hindi. It's different. Kukushka is a song by the soviet rock band kino and it was written by victor, victor soy wow man it was released in their 1991 black album the recording of the song was done back in the year 1990 and the release date was in the year 1991 man it's a six minute 40 seconds song wow nice man this is really really good the song was written by victor soy in one village of russia and him along with Yuri came to rest and at the same time record a demo draft of the band's new album. All the melodic moves in the song, both at the beginning and at the end, were invented by Victor Soy. Amazing. A rough demo version of the cuckoo was also recorded there. It is one of the last song written by Victor Soy just before his death in August 1990. Ah. So Yuri has to say something about the song. According to him, the song is very personal. I remember Victor doing it. He sat all day in the shed where the studio was that is completely separate. It was felt that something serious was happening i hadn't heard it before i only heard it in i only heard it in jurmala and then we arranged it supplemented it the fact is that he always came up with songs on his own alone with himself he always brought us ready made material showed us that is really touching man after victor's death the song was re recorded arranged by the members of the band Kino and they have included the song in the album Black. I have nothing else to say man. I mean like this is something quite emotional but I can understand someone being a new listener of Kino. It's just been a couple of months since I started listening to Kino. I can only say that you know what it means to all of you people who actually listens to you know what it means to all of you you grew up listening to a band it's just like you know for example uh, i don't know if i will be able to relate with all of you but let me say i let me give an example of linking park probably you may like you may not like but chester bennington was a part of my childhood i used to listen to a lot of linking park songs and when he died you know even now after six seven years every time i think of chester bennington i feel so sad i feel lost i in fact feel like crying and i guess victor soy is holding the same emotions the, the the memories of victor soy is same for the fans of kino you know i can understand how it what it means for all of you but really excited guys so let's check this song out of kino in the name of victor soy i hope wherever you are sir you are at peace rest in peace so let's check it out guys. So we are ready guys and I found a video in YouTube which has a Spanish translation, the Russian and the English. Wow. Whosoever has made this 
सीरियसली स्पसीवान सीरियसली सीरियसली थैंक यू गाइज यू आर ऑसम मैन सो लेट्स चेक इट आउट गाइज So 
this is really atmospheric man it's really brilliant it's a nice song but i guess some of the lines of the songs are really emotional it's kind of painful let's discuss about this song guys so when i was reading this, those lines because it was one of the last songs of you know victor soy and some part of the song says songs of mine that i have yet to write how many you know this asking the bird tell me cook cook sing it for me probably he could have written so many more songs right if he was alive that's kind of sad and the part of this song where he sings like who will go the lonely path the strong and the brave have laid down their heads in the field of battle for now remain with bright memory i mean like with a clear mind even a firm hand in order in order i mean like he has left behind us but his songs will always be with us and that's what i can feel but someone as a fan who used to listen to kino from that time probably it must be really hard for any one of you watching this video of mine or as a fan of kino or victor soy but having said that this is a really beautiful song thank you so much guys for watching my videos that really means a lot to me you can always let me know in the comment section what do you think about it i really enjoyed the song i really liked it and it's always a great feeling to check out or make videos for legendary artist so i will be back soon with another reaction video guys until then guys take care stay safe namaste spasiba and keep supporting your local artist rock on